by Priscilla Holliston, I wrote and illustrated this book. Lady of the Leaves, How It Happened. This story danced into my head on the morning of September 27th, 2023, on the day I lost my voice. Taking myself away from the family, I began painting watercolors of the tale I had imagined while being live on TikTok. I decided the, this was the perfect time to teach others how to write, illustrate, and publish their very own book. After finishing the live streams, I uploaded them to our YouTube channel, where they will stay for people to watch the process. Happy creating, reading, and remember, the time is always right now to follow your dreams by taking action steps. Hugs and happiness, Priscilla Holston, the 1870 Studio. Dedication to everyone who's ever watched our live streams on social media and has dreamt of writing their very own story. My wish is, this is your guide to follow your dreams. Thank you for being here for all the fun. Dearest dedication to my darling granddaughter, Maggie. I want to be like you when I grow up. Love until the last leaf falls. <laughs> Grandma. Jack Frost is a fellow we all can remember. He comes out when it's cold, perhaps in November. His paintbrush is chilly with an icy cold blue. Everything that he touches turns a silvery hue. But before Jack appears, someone else that we see, look closely, if you will, at the fall colored tree. There's a wee tiny door just at the bottom. Inside lives Our Lady. She comes out to start autumn. Every tree in this world, no matter how large or small, has a creature inside that comes out in the fall. Lady of the Leaves, a magical sprite, when summer starts sleeping, she comes out. She wakes up that night. So let's turn the pages, read the tale that I tell, the Lady of the Leaves, her story in a nutshell. Start at the bottom, the base of the tree. Look closely, if you will, to see what you see. To animals and children, it will all be quite clear. Grown-ups rarely see magic with each passing year. It might help to look for a weird twisty knot where the grass meets the tree like a thing we forgot. A miniature door with a handle so small, it appears once a year and only in fall. The boards are all painted in a soft autumn tone, a cap for an awning to welcome us home. So let's walk up the steps and knock on the door. It's a rather odd feeling like we've been here before. Looking inside, we see it all clear, a long tiny room, though no one is here. A branch filled with leaves against the white wall and an acorn cap for someone quite small. The fireplace is dark, though the room is quite bright. A soft pumpkin bench to read on at night. But where is the lady that lives in this tree? We look all around, but we still cannot see. Off to the side, there's a mini archway down a set of stone steps that will lead us away. From a room filled with magical things we can see, let's explore more together, just you and me. Her bedroom is still, just a soft purring snore. Once again, there's the feeling like we've been here before. A star-covered pillow that cradles her head, cozy soft blankets on her fairy-sized bed. She dreams for three seasons, though it feels like one night, waking up when it's chilly, and the time is just right. The clock has struck fall, the brass bells are chiming, she yawns and wakes up now. It's called perfect timing. Standing in front of her colorful leaves, she whistles and sings. She rolls up her sleeves. Come sit on my cap, come dance on my clothes. Hide me from all from my head to my toes. The leaves start to rustle, waking up with pure love. They've done this forever. They fall from above. Each leaf has a name. 
She loves everyone, and they swirl just above her. We can all feel the fun. Another autumn's arriving, just waiting for her. To start all the painting gives her stick a big stir. The stick holds the colors we all know and adore. She's had it forever. It waits by her door. The first leaf arrives, taking his place. They're all quite excited. It, it's just like a race. She calls them by name. As they land on her clothes, they answer, my lady, her outfit just grows. This time is so special, we can see it all clear. They're giggling and laughing, they love to be near. Closeness counts for love, they protect her, you see, from the eyes of all grown-ups while she paints on her tree. Look close at the leaves, you can see their small faces. The colors of autumn, they're all in their places. She puts on her boots, grabs her stick with her hand, pushes open her door, flies up off the land. The leaves make her float. She's not quite sure how. They've been doing it forever. There's no stopping now. Once again, she feels wonder. Once again, she feels joy. Her tree's patiently waiting. He's such a good boy. Her days will be filled from first light to last. With painting each leaf, it's such a big task. Every leaf on the tree takes ten tiny touches, each with her stick, which tightly she clutches. The grass is still green, the leaves all are too. She hides deep inside them, there's much work to do. She has to remember, she's done it before. Which leaves she has touched, it seems such a chore. What keeps her going each and every fall? The tree is her baby, no matter how tall. She meets all the new leaves, she gives them all names, then sings out while painting, she never complains. To her it's no job, to her it's pure joy. Her world in a nutshell, her tree is her toy. Lady of the Leaves, with the stick in her hand, Touches the first leaf, it really feels grand. I dub thee Alex, and this is tap one. Nine more to go, and then we'll be done. As the leaf hears her song, he starts to wiggle. Painting the leaves gives them such a good giggle. The leaves are quite ticklish. As they change all their color, Lady of the Leaves feels just like their mother. She loves them and cares for each and every one. No matter how long it takes, she'll work till she's done. She knows, but they don't, how soon it will be. Weeks, maybe months, till they forever leave their tree. For when her stick touches for the last final time, the leaf floats to the ground, it's surreal and sublime. Her first day has been busy, quite sunny and hot. She's suddenly sleepy. She sees just the spot. An unused bird nest from a wee chickadee, perfect for napping at the top of her tree. Shedding her leaves, she nestles right down. I'll just close my eyes as her leaves gather round. They perch right beside her, more comfy for all. Soon they're all sleeping on this first day of fall. But the wind from the north brings big clouds that are dark. While our friends are in slumber, the rain hits the bark. The first drop to make con contact arrives with great force. Waking a leaf up, he's in shock, but of course. It's quite the mad scramble as they gather around. Lady of the Leaves just falls to the ground. With no leaves on her outfit, gravity wins. A great mass of confusion as a downpour begins. The winds blow away just as quick as they came. She looks for her leaves. She calls them by name. Just her cap on her head leaves nowhere to be found. She's in front of her own door, feet on the ground. 
She swings her door open. She'll just wait inside. Her leaves will soon follow. They all have to hide. Without her leaf clothing, grown-ups can see. Lady of the leaves is clear as can be. She's ever so close now. She's almost home free. Then she feels the earth moving beside her own tree. Someone is behind her. She turns round to see. The sight is so scary. Who can it be? In a flash of an eye, she's trapped in a jar. She's so close to home, but now it feels far. The hand that has put the big jar in place is the hand of a giant. She sees a huge face. Pushing her twig hands against the green glass, she feels out of breath. She hopes it will pass. Seconds drag on. Time has stood still. She looks up in terror. She freezes quite still. Perhaps if I'm quiet, she thinks in her mind, the giant will leave me. Perhaps she is kind. The jar was removed quickly as it was placed. A hand scoops her up. She stares at the face. Her fear vanished at once when she saw in the smile. Beautiful love from this rather tall child. The young lady you see, not a giant at all, but a fellow artist just out to paint fall. The two talked for an hour, fast friends they became. Then they both said together, what is your name? Lady of the leaves, but you can call me Autumn. I'm Maggie McGee. I live at the bottom. The first time in forever, Autumn had a human friend. The two hatched a plan to visit again. The very next morning was chilly indeed. Maggie set up a ladder against a green tree. And day after day and week after week, the two ladies painted, let's have a peek. The progress they made, quite prolific indeed. They laughed at the leaves painted at a great speed. Maggie told Autumn about the first time they met. She was seeking a woolly bear, which she hasn't found yet. Wanting to see how long winter would last, woolly bear caterpillars give a forecast. If the black stripe is long, winter will be too. If it's short, spring will be here in a month, maybe two. Each evening returning to her home in the tree, Lady wrote in the pages about Maggie McGee. She'd seen grown-ups before, but had hidden away. Too busy with playing, she had no time to play. But her days spent with Maggie had taught her to see there is a big world outside of her tree. She learned of strange things never seen from her mountain, like of lakes and of oceans and a park with a fountain. She knew fall was passing. The seasons change fast. The friendship they have, it just wouldn't last. Soon she would sleep three seasons away. Maggie was moving. She just couldn't stay. As tears filled her eyes, she tried hard to smile. She'd still have her friend, but just for a while. Lady of the Leaves Tree was at the top of the town. The rest of the village lived all the way down. When Maggie walked home on that chilly fall night, she went to her room. She started to write. The days had passed quickly. Of that she was sure. Maggie wanted to capture their friendship so pure. She always was quiet in school and with friends, but when painting the leaves, the talk never did end. The topics they covered were varied and wide, glimpses of other worlds where fairies reside. Maggie felt so creative, connected at last. Then she got a sad feeling. This autumn went fast. In spring, you see, Maggie's family was moving the other side of the world where cherry blossoms were blooming. On the very last morning of their time spent together, they both had on coats because of the weather. They had saved the last leaf for the very last day. 
No leaves left on the ground, the wind swept them away. Reaching up tall on the tip of her toes, Maggie stretches for the leaf and the cold, as the cold north wind blows. Lady flies up, her stick in her hand. Maggie holds her paintbrush. This was their plan. They'd touch it together on the count of just three. The leaf closed his eyes and fell off the tree. They knelt by the leaf. It only seemed proper. Such a beautiful moment, red, gold, and copper. Two artists from worlds that were so far apart. No words were spoken. All were held in their heart. Celebrations had started when Lady arrived. Dozens of ladies were there by her side. It was the one time each year when they all got together. They'd laugh and they'd dance in spite of the weather. See, this was the last day they'd all be awake. Tonight they would sing. Tonight they'd eat cake. With music and song, autumn's finally ending. Lady tried hard to smile. She was only pretending. One final sunset, then autumn is done. No room for sad feelings. You've got to have fun. With warmth from the fairy lights upon her sweet face, she looked all around. She felt out of place. As long as she could remember, these were always her friends. Seasons keep spinning, and the fun never ends. She thought of her new friend. What would she be doing? She'd want her to be happy. She'd want her to be going. To follow her dreams, she thought with great might. Then she drank pumpkin juice and danced in the night. Friends, true friends, want the best for each other. No sadness should enter when you care for another. Maggie McGee, while home in her place, wrapped a small present with a smile on her face. She had written two books about this past fall, one Maggie-sized and the other quite small. The tiniest book that you ever did see, both the same story about the great tree. All of the magic they both felt together, painting the leaves while the seasons changed weather. It was all captured in this wee handmade book. Maggie had made it. It had an old look. Halloween candy finished from her last trick-or-treat. A crinkled old paper. She wrapped it quite neat. Then grabbing her coat and stepping outside, Maggie rushed up the mountain, then had to hide. Her small friend was coming along the tree ridge. She laid down the present in the bushes she hid. Maggie knew if she saw her that the tears would just flow. They had said their goodbyes. She just had to go. Lady of the Leaves had danced herself home. Now spying her a present, she was quite alone. Lifting the package outside of her door, she looked all around. Then she smiled once more. She could feel her friend watching, though she couldn't quite see. She knew she was hiding right under her tree. With the book safe inside, her leaves were all settled. Pajamas were on, and so was her kettle. She tucked herself in with a nice cup of tea. Then she unwrapped her gift. Then she started to read. Her eyes, they grew tired. Autumn had ended. She'd done this forever, and she always pretended that the world went to sleep when she blew out her light. But now she knows it goes on, and it seems really right. Maggie rose early on that first snowy day. Just a dusting, it seemed, had chased Autumn away. Heading uphill with her book in her hand, she sat under the big tree. Snow covered the land. In the spring she would leave here, she'd be heading away. She read all her pages. She stayed there all day. Friendships come and they go. People stay and they leave. But this one was special. Maggie had to believe. She didn't know how. She didn't know when. Yet she knew in her heart 
that they'd meet again. And inside the tree, sweet lady, she slept, while outside in the snow, Maggie quietly wept. Her tears were not sad. Her tears had a reason. Her tears were of joy, friendship of the season. Until all the leaves fell and it never would end, the love would remain with a forever fall friend. there. The end. Lady of the Leaves. And I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you've made a new friend with the lady.